that's normal. Like I didn't even try to do that. <laughs> What's up guys, you can probably barely hear me, so I promised you, you guys these videos, you know, let me shift it over there. So I promised you guys these videos, uh, or this segment of videos a while back. Um, I told you that I would do a video where I try to drive my truck for as many days as possible as a daily, instead of the BMW. So today we're going to start that. Uh, it's, it was raining, now it's stopped raining, the roads are still wet though. So yeah, pretty much I am on my way to work right now. This is just normal throttle, you can see how much smoke it is. That's normal, like I didn't even try to do that. <laughs> Not too bad, cruise on the freeway. 1,000 RPMs, 59 miles an hour. Which, I need to re, so I put custom tunes in myself. I need to retune it so it downshifts out of overdrive at 50, because for some reason, it, or no, it needs to, I need to tune it to where it unlocks the converter at like 50 when it's, when it's uh, coming down on mile per hour because it keeps the converter locked all the way to a 40 mile an hour. And when you're slowing down and starting back up, the truck like literally acts so weird. But nothing I can't fix with the computer, which I just realized I forgot the computer. So looks like we'll be sending it with that. I'll show you guys how laggy it is or how smoky it is trying to get onto an on-ramp. at 47 miles an hour which it shifts into overdrive at 50. It hits overdrive it gets really smoky. Not gonna lie. And then it keeps slowing down and stopping. Yeah see like if I flat footed it right now that thing would be oh my god see this is the stuff I'm talking about where people literally go like 10 miles an hour. And then do that. Yeah you're gonna have to get right back over you idiot. We have arrived at my workplace, so I'll see you guys on our way home. Well, we're about to see how she hauls on the freeway with some weight in the bed. About to pick up half a ton of sand. I, I picked up a, a ton of gravel the other day, and it, the truck did fine, but it was a really short distance, and the truck needs airbags really bad, and it was really close to, uh, it was really close to the fender well, so. I really don't trust driving the truck on the freeway, 30 minute drive with a ton of sand in the bed, uh, just cause I don't want the fenders rubbing and stuff when I go over bridge decks and stuff like that. But uh, I'm hoping it doesn't rain. It really is looking like it's going to, uh, cause I have to unload this stuff when I get to my destination. So that would suck. But yeah, about to load her down and uh, see how it goes. All right, boys, we're loaded down. She's squatting a little bit. We ended up putting a full ton in. Um, just because the truck didn't squat too bad because it's sand. So uh, we're going to send it. I had to put a little air in my tire just because the, um, the other day when I was hauling some gravel, I had to drive my truck in the backyard. And uh, it, the tire rolled over a rock and it like pushed some of the air out of the tire. So. We're going to try to haul this with the tune I have in the truck, uh, which is, it shifts out of first uh, at 20 miles an hour, and then shifts into third at, I want to say around 40, and it hits lock up, or it hits lock up at 40. I can't remember the exact uh, third gear uh, shift point, but see how it goes. EGTs I'm sure will be extremely high, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to beat the rain at this point. So. What is 
up guys another day of driving the truck today is a weird day because it's like 40 degrees in ohio and it's like i wouldn't say mid-summer but it's like definitely the beginning of summer uh, i feel like this just doesn't normal like you see my breath so all the windows are all fogged up the truck started good i'm just gonna let it warm up for a second before we go rip it run late for it as usual so got another load today it's not loaded out down too bad another ton forgot to cover the stack last night that's my truck tell me my keys are in here uh forgot to cover the stack last night and it rained and it wasn't supposed to rain, so let's see what kind of mess we can make today. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Usually it's like everywhere, like it gets everywhere. But hopefully it stops raining today, we'll see. But we're going to work today, we had to work. This is our sixth day of working. As you can tell, I'm really excited to go to work. Had to fuel up. <clears throat> part 3,526,000 ,000. I think we messed up forgot to cover the hood stack last night and it poured so let's see how bad she is what the heck oh I guess a couple droplets came down well, I guess that's a good thing another day driving this rig Nothing has broken yet. And we were even beating the, on the truck last night. And everything seems to be good. So, I think we're gonna drive it a couple more days. Um, because streetcar takeover is this weekend. I think I'm gonna drive it a couple more days and then I'm gonna park it and um, flush the trans fluid and do an oil change and just check up on everything so I don't hurt it this weekend. And, uh, be good to go but probably drive it a couple more days just to I like driving it so that's pretty much it so we went to leave work we had our first failure this guy right here I went to start the truck and it just clicked and I was like what the heck and then nothing in the truck worked I was like awesome so then I popped the hood and wiggled the negative terminal and she started up. So that's that's our first failure. That I, I can I'll accept that. That is that's fine with me for the first like daily driver mess up. So yeah, that's literally we've been driving this truck for a week and a half, which may not sound like a lot, but my work is probably about 20 miles, 25 miles. It's about a 25 minute drive one way. So what is that 50 miles a day just to and from work seven days do the math um i mean for a truck that hasn't really been daily driven in a long time it's doing pretty good so far so yep we're running late for work driving the truck again i don't know what day it is but it's probably whatever day i put on the screen right here and uh, I'm not really that tired of driving it. Although I probably will park it on Thursday night and clean it, everything, clean the windows, clean the wheels, wash it, wipe it down, clean out the inside. Because I'm gonna be driving to a streetcar takeover, the uh, pre-party at Carlisle on Friday. And um, Obviously, I don't want to drive there on the dirty truck. This thing is filthy, so. Yeah. We're running late for work, as usual. And, uh, yesterday, I didn't get it on film because it was kind of last minute. But these guys in traffic talked me into doing a burnout in the middle of the freeway. So that was pretty sick.
Didn't cover my stack again. Forgot. Hopefully it didn't rain too much. And we're running late again, except for today we have a meeting to go to. And we're not supposed to be late for these meetings. It's actually really sad because I wake up way like I wake up super early and then I turn off my alarm and I go back to sleep, so it's like a hundred percent my fault. Tisk tisk. guys that's pretty much gonna be it for this uh, video um, I know there wasn't a whole lot of like this video was just more uh, more so showing that you can daily drive a truck with a 47 re swapped in it or just kind of showing the reliability of like the anteater and the 47 re swap and you know with it being a kind of a bigger single as far as drivability goes I don't know I just figured you guys might be like kind of interested in something like that plus get my input a little bit on how the anteater is performing, how much I like the 47RE. As far as drivability, the truck drives absolutely amazing. Um, the bass tunes that come with the anteaters, not really the best for daily driving, at least for my truck. It might work fine for like a common rail that gets a 47RE swap. After I custom tuned the trans, which it's, it's not as hard as you would think it is, you do gotta have a little bit of knowledge about like tuning graphs I guess but it's really not that hard especially if you're just changing shift point after tuning it I honestly am very happy with it the truck drives great the daily driver tune and I tuned it to where it has second gear lockup on tune 2 and it's pretty rowdy I want to change it a little bit to where the lockup is a little bit later so that the, the turbo can get spooled before it hits lockup because it's a little on the laggy side I mean it's still rowdy like in tune 1 daily driver tune it'll it spins the tires from, I want to say like anywhere from zero to 25, 30 miles an hour. It'll it'll spin the tire, but it's like it's kind of like a dry spin. It it doesn't it doesn't spin so crazy. The truck goes like side to side, but it tracks straight. But you, if you look behind you, it's just two black streaks. So not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I'd like to kind of make it hook and not spin, but. Um, just because it's a little unpredictable for when like it does kick out because it'll feel like it's not spinning and then the next thing you know it's pointing towards a guardrail so and as far as the truck how the converter and the trans and everything goes with the setup I have honestly I couldn't ask for better um, better drivability and eaters easy to switch in and out of tunes honestly I'm just very 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 happy with the truck the way it is right now um, if anything, I'll do methanol injection just to cool the truck down because if I flat foot it and stay in it for a while, it does get up to like 1200 degrees, which I know isn't a lot. It, it's really not too hot. I'd like to bring those numbers down a little bit. Plus, you know, the, the cooler the better. You'll pick up power from just being uh, on the cooler side. So 
I might do that. I don't really know. I don't know a lot about methanol injection, so I really got to read up on it a little bit. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's something I want to do. That or nitrous. Maybe spray like a 50 shot or a 75 shot before the intercooler to help keep things cool. But yeah, guys, like I said, aside, my biggest complaint really with daily driving the truck would be to would be that the hood stack is really loud and it's just really just too loud honestly for a daily in my opinion I daily it like that forever I mean I've daily the truck with the hood stack pretty much ever since I've owned it so I mean I don't daily it anymore as you guys know I have the BMW but when I did daily it, it was hood stack I just can't stand it after having a quiet car or a room reasonably quiet car that I daily every day the hood stack is just too loud for me I can't have conversations I can't listen to the radio or anything like I, I like to listen to music while I'm driving you really can't hear the music um, and it's just hard to have conversation and it just makes the whole experience less fun I guess so I think I'm gonna try a bed stack I said that in a previous video I do want to try like putting a bed stack in it see if it quietens it up a little bit and still keep it cool and everything like that so i'm gonna pull the truck in get it cleaned up and the next video you see will be a streetcar takeover so i'll see you guys in the next video i appreciate you guys watching and deuces